One minute remaining. One minute remaining. Space already. I know. <laughs> the guidance system 
government has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at first booster separation. The border is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Through good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems. And that can reach uh, a tower site in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three are in good shape. Special Endeavor sailing into Fairlands on its final historic voyage. This view looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter is there on the top. As uh, the it continues to tower its way into orbit, traveling 4,000 miles per hour downrange, 90 miles altitude, 50 miles. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. They are already reached space. Wow. That's what it looks like. Awesome. Oh, and you're just still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape. Hydraulic systems and electrical systems on board the order. And then, negative can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure now, but all three are still in good shape, as are all of the other systems aboard the order, uh, quiet air mission control as the team of flight controllers watches, watches over all of the systems. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, and that was trapped on 5,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 63 miles, traveling down range 186 miles, or about 335,000 feet in altitude. Environmental control and systems officer here reporting a good flash evaporator system providing uh, coolant to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them, the flight engineer Roberto Latore, and rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Tank. And that can reach over on two engines, but one fail at this point. However, all three are still performing as planned down the mid deck of Endeavour, Drew Foisto, and Greg Chanatov. Foisto headed to the International Space Station for the first time, but what do you think? Making their first voyage on the space shuttle after flying to the International Space Station aboard uh, Soyuz spacecraft previously. And then, that call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transit land aboard site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, fifty seconds into the flight. I'm trying to make sure that we'll watch the ball. That way, go back to Earth and go back to the ball. Several calls there, and those can reach a safe board on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll and over to a heads up position. To optimize the air ground communications through the satellite network. Flight controller is reporting to Flight Director Richard Jones in good shape. Three main engines are uh, flowing fuel through their uh, 
power assistance at a rate uh, equivalent to draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Wow. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, altitude 64 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 630 miles, and there was traveling 13,500 miles per hour. We're now seeing uh, throttling on the three-man engines to maintain the uh, 3G or three times gravity load on the vehicle and the crew. Right. And that was Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the order for uh, photography of the astronaut tank.
Satellite path. Satellite path. And it was. Houston, put that to page three dash four when you're ready.